BOA. So let's call the BOA meeting to order. Um, the first thing that we will do is open the hearing, the name of the property, and what we're here for. Um, the, we have two purposes tonight. We are here for Martha Levin's request to abate her um, amount of $3,833.45. This is parcel ID number 430675, and the location of the property is at 675 Long Meadow Hill in Callis. And the other reason we're here is, oh, I forgot. The reason that Martha is asking for this abatement is she believes it's a manifest error or mistake of the listers. Mm -hmm. The other reason we're here is to abate small amount of taxes, um, as will be explained by the treasurer when we get to that. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to ask everybody to raise their right hand. Um, okay, and this is the oath. Under the pains and penalties of perjury, do you solemnly swear that the evidence you give in the cause under consideration shall be the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Yes. 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 Unanimous yes. All right, thank you, everyone. Does anybody have a conflict of interest that they would like to disclose? Or any ex parte communication that they might have had? Okay. Is there another chair? There's mm -hmm. one right there. So I'm just going to ask, um, we just went through the beginnings of this. So I'm just going to ask you guys to raise your right hand and I'll swear you in. Here we go. Okay. Under the pains and penalties of perjury, do you solemnly swear that the evidence you give in the cause under consideration shall be the whole truth and nothing but the truth? I do. Okay. I do. But Everybody's married. <laughs> I don't think I'm giving any evidence. No, but that's what the oath is. <laughs> All right. Um, we were just going through the procedures. Anybody have a conflict of interest or ex parte communication on this matters? Um, Reed, you're here representing the Levins. Uh, I'm not, I don't think I'm representing them officially. I'm, I'm just here in case information is needed. Okay. I just want to make sure that I don't. I don't think I. I don't have any statement in writing from. Her. Okay. But she knows I'm here. Okay, and she's received a copy of the procedures. She received everything that ex except for what we some lister cards and that kind of thing. Okay. She received everything. Okay, we identified that the statutory abatement request is based on taxes in which there is a manifest error or mistake of the listers. Um, and you said you don't really have anything to to say on behalf of the Levins. All right, so. Do you want to do the minutes? Or is that, that was kind of the first thing on the agenda? Yeah, I thought maybe, maybe we'd do, do that, that at the end, the end oh, okay. instead. That way we don't hold up. Okay. Read and. So, um, can I just interject? Yeah. There, there's this uh, kind of, um, financial declaration here that Martha um, the other. Circulated to yeah. you, right. Which should be admitted in evidence. Um, yes, we can do that. This is the brief history. Did everybody review the history? Yes. Um, well, the, the thing I have is. Is it this read? It's a supplement. Yeah. Well, it's a supplement. Yeah. To Number five. Yeah. Or the abatement hearing request. Form. Yeah. And yeah. I guess that, that, I guess that's already automatically admitted in evidence. Come to think of it. Right. Right, it was part of what she submitted. Right. So should we review this history, folks? Excuse me? I don't, I'm answering the question. I don't know if we need to review the history. I'd like to hear from the listener. Okay. Yeah, well, we, if we want to um, not review the document, we don't have to. We can hear from the listeners. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I think, I think we, it'll be quick. We can we tell can. the story. It'll be fast. And yeah. then... Uh, the page after that uh, that our treasurer has done would give the correct amount that would be available. So. Yeah. Okay, let's hear from the listeners. Okay, so um, 
the Lister's year runs April to April, and in the middle of April of 2016, the Levin's house burned down. Um, and uh, in 2016, uh, we thought we had taken the house out of the Lister card. In any case, we did abate in 2016 the amount that was to be abated, and that was that's listed in the work. That's the. Um, 3369 yeah uh, the uh, the last page, the last page in the last page in the last page in the last page in the last page Yeah, it's right at the end. I have to give you the whole packet. Ah, there it is. <laughs> okay. okay, got it. Okay. Um, we thought that we had, we, the listers, thought that we had taken off the house uh, when we corrected for the abatement in 2016. Um, but I guess this would be what I would call a normal snafu in that. Everybody thought everybody had taken it off, and we didn't take it off. And so when 2017 came along, uh, the full appraisal was issued on 2017, and the Levins paid the full amount in 2017. Okay. Um, which was, which was uh, $6,900 that they paid in their taxes. Um, whether the other thing that could have happened is we thought we had saved it and we didn't save it. It doesn't matter. We goofed um, in that it, the, their house did not get taken off. Okay. So um, it was stayed on again for this year, and this year they caught it. Um, and we caught it in August and made changes um, so that the current Lister card is uh, what you, we have in this doc, document somewhere here is the current Lister card, um, which reflects the value at 247300 And that's the value that they should have had for 2017, okay. which they did not have. Yeah. And so what Sandy did is uh, calculated the abatement based on the, the assessment that's there at 247.3 um, and what they should have paid in 2017. So the abatement that Sandy came up with is 38.52.62 cents. And you're recommending that we... Oh, absolutely. Yes. Okay. It's, 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 we, absolutely. It's got to be... I mean, that's, I'm surprised that they didn't come in earlier. <laughs> so, but, yeah. but their record is now correct, and they will not get another high bill. <laughs> going okay. forward, so, yes. Going forward. Yes. so let's have one. Go ahead, Tina. I do have a question. I, I'm, I know that the statutes allow either to um, refund or to credit. To future payment, did, was there anything specifically requested in the way of I don't a see where remedy? They, I don't see where they requested anything specific. Um, do you know? I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't miss the question. Do you know whether they want to have this credit applied to next year's taxes or they want a refund? I suspect they want a refund. refund. Uh, I, did, I can't say that. But uh, she's in Toronto right now and can be contacted. Oh, don't. Oh, I was just going to move that we abate the taxes for 2016. Um, 17. Thank you. 17 for 3,852 and 62 cents. Okay, I think the question is, though, do we, does she want a check or does she want a credit? I would Credit it to next year? Yeah, that's the, the, that's no. the option. Yeah. I don't. I, I think that everybody was. I was thinking it would just be a, a check. Okay. Yeah. And it's then, nice to have that record. Right. So let's do that. Can we amend your, or can you amend your motion to include that it be refunded 
via a town check? Yes. Okay. I'll second the motion. Is there any further discussion or comment? All right. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. All right. Who, who's going to write up that decision? Um. I can, unless you want to. I'm not volunteering. I just think we need. Well, yeah, documentation. We have to, yeah, we have to write up a decision. Yeah. So I'll wait. Katie's really good about getting the minutes, so I will get that done this week. Um, you're welcome. I just have one more question. Yes. Are her taxes paid in full for this year? Second payment? I believe they are. Let me just check on that. I think they are. All right. I didn't have the first one. Might have withheld the second payment. I'm pending this. Is there a balance deal? Yeah, it should appear no, she that paid she paid it. Oh, no. Well, November 15th. Maybe we'll yeah, have to yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll have to okay, um, so we'll change see. our motion. <laughs> but it may have come in as Sanders going to find out. Right. Can I ask about that? So if we do to abate something, does it does the mechanics of whether or not it's in a refund form or whether we send a check matter for the for our motions? Or? I think so. Yes. Yeah. Because if there's the option and she didn't say, um, then we should decide how we're gonna the mechanics of it, how it's gonna be done. But if her taxes haven't been paid, then maybe um, we should hang in here for a while and for, for, a, for a minute. But it wouldn't change the amount of the abatement. No, it wouldn't change the amount. It would just, just depend on whether it's credited. Right. Yeah. The taxes for 2018 are paid in full. Okay. okay. So okay. we're good. So, yeah. All right. Sandra, are you ready? Yes. You want to join us somewhere? I can't okay. see you. I want to join you. While we're waiting for that, I now brought something up just as a reminder that if you've printed these out at home, you can shred them or put them in your wood fireplace so they're not just floating around. Right. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking also more of ones where you're getting a copy of a tax return page or something that. Right. Yeah, this is probably yeah, this confidential. Is, yeah. but. Go ahead, Sandra. Hi, hi, everyone. Does everybody know? Everybody knows Sandra, right? Mm -hmm. I think so. Well, sorry for my back. I'm gonna just stand over That's here. That's right. I, I got. I gotta go. I think <laughs> I'm done. Thank you, Reed. Thank you, Reed. Bye, Reed. Uh, as you all know, probably know, tax the tax collection effort for 2018 has closed. It closed at 4 o'clock p.m. on November 29th. So payments coming in after that date are delinquent, and we do have a delinquent list. There are nine taxpayers on our delinquent list who owe less than $5. So for a total of $11.40. So the purpose in gathering you together, since you've already were going to be here, is to ask if you would authorize me as treasurer and also as delinquent tax collector to abate those small amounts. And in support of that request, I will tell you that the cost of postage, as you know, is 50 cents. In addition to mailing the bill for uh, at least one taxpayer for one cent, uh, we must provide an envelope, we need to print off a warrant, we need to print off the delinquent tax policies, we need the ink for that and the paper as well as the administrative time. I would, I would uh, suggest to you that it is not efficient cost-wise or time-wise to pursue these small amounts of taxes. I consulted with the town attorney who said that the best way to deal with small amount of taxes owing is to bring them to you, the Board of Abatement. There is no category under the abatement statute 
uh, into which this neatly fits, but there also isn't any clear statutory authority to address small uncollected amounts in any other way. At least bringing it to the Board of Abatement creates a record of the decision and action, and it takes the delinquent tax collector and treasurer off the hook. <laughs> so what I would ask of you tonight, after you ask any questions you may have, is uh, for someone to make a motion to abate small... I, have a, I just have a question. Are these all amounts that are owed, or is any of them a refund? No, no, these are all delinquent amounts. These are all amounts owed in 2018 only. And I would ask that uh, after the board reflects on this information <laughs> for a motion to uh, allow going forth the treasurer and the delinquent tax collector to abate amounts of $5 or less, providing that the total of those amounts does not exceed $25 in which case we would reconvene in those years and you can take a look at what is going on. What we really don't want to do is send a message that you don't have to pay the last $5 of your taxes because when you have a thousand tax bills going out, five times a thousand actually ends up being more than you would want to give up probably. <laughs> so. Um, I would suggest we put a little bit of a, a control, a little break in your decision, but I also really hesitate to um, call you in year after year for amounts such as this, which equal $11.40. You just beat me to it. That is <laughs> where I was going as soon as we um, <laughs> voted on the first group. So why don't I make the motion on the first group that we abate as recommended by you? Okay. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Do you know what's the next highest or lowest, I guess would, would be the case, amount owed? I mean, is there anybody who has $11? Yes. There's $12? The, that next amount is $9.63. So, now this is a delicate balance, right? Because now you're starting to say anything under ten dollars, and again, I would um, keep it at five. I, I would just caution the board that if the amounts of abate, if you're giving me the latitude to push the button, um, I think you want to draw a circle around how much you're willing to give up. So the eleven dollar one, one nine dollars and sixty three cents. That's not included in this group. No. Okay. These are all amounts. I'll tell you what the amounts are. Under five dollars. Under five. Four dollars and twenty three cents. Two dollars and two cents. One dollar and seventy cents. One dollar fifty four cents. Eighty three cents. Seventy seven cents. Thirty cents. One cent. That <laughs> sounds like a poem. Yes, it is. I was thinking of a chorus. Two turtle doves. <laughs> Jan has a question. It's just a comment. Somebody once told me that just to write the check, yeah, and publish the check, it costs seven bucks. More. Just to just to do the check, let alone. The, the mail and, and sending it out the blah, time. blah blah blah. So I don't even know if I mean five dollars is small, but well, frequently it's it's been my experience that these small um, these small checks don't often get cashed. Oh, excuse me, I'm thinking of uh, overpayments. Never mind, we're back to delinquents. <laughs> uh, yeah. So these are these are delinquencies. They owe us. I, I, I think we also need to think about our neighbors who really miss wrote a check for a penny or so, um, or their check just simply, it just was, you couldn't read it or, or whatever. Um, I, I just don't really think it's okay to ask somebody to come in and pay a penny or even 37 cents. Okay, so there's a motion before us. Is there any further discussion? Are you ready to vote? Um, I want to be clear on the motion because she complicated a little by suggesting that we have essentially a policy that would continue beyond this year, and I'm reluctant to. Okay, that's not part of this motion. That's okay. a separate. Mm -hmm. All right, are you ready to vote? Yes. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Tina, did you not vote? I didn't vote. I don't have, I, I need to think about this. 
just debating these small amounts you have to think about, you mean? Or are you Well, I, I'm it? thinking the statute doesn't provide it. My immediate response is we need to go to Janet or somebody and say, let's clean this up. But in the meantime, that's not happening, and we've checked with the town's attorney who said it was fine to abate these small amounts. Um, when well, Nadine was okay. taxing uh, a couple years ago, we went through, we had three or four pages. I don't know what we used for on statutory authority to do it. Um, it might have been the other column or whatever it is on there. But I know we did do something did. historically um, that um, abated all of these small amounts. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember what we used statutorily. But I know. It was I know we did it because yeah. Nadine had a long list. Mm -hmm. Well, and, I and we didn't establish a policy to abate small amounts because technically, by statute, you can't do that. Right. So it's kind of a conundrum because there's really no way to do it. You shouldn't have a policy, but we need to. It just makes it nice to have it cleaned up. I think it was. It was okay to call it a manifest error because it doesn't say who made the manifest error. It could have been the error of the person writing the check to us. Yeah, I don't remember. I mean, it doesn't say. So, I mean, it, I think everything was lumped under there. Could have been. So, you must do this every year or? Um, every year or two. Because I don't remember the when we did it with Nadine. It might have been. Uh -huh. It was before Sandra took over. I can just tell you the experience in the office of having somebody yeah. drive down here to give us a nickel, Ooh, and they are very, very, very angry. angry. Of course. And it's very embarrassing, and I don't want to have to do that. <laughs> of course. I'm not, I'm Why did they think they had to come down? Because they they, special no, because there were periods of time that when when Nadine was the Lincoln tax collector, where she didn't know she had the statutory real yeah. authority to to abate them, she thought she it was just we had bill. to do that. So okay. we just said, "You got to go pay this I nickel see. or twenty five cents or whatever." I see. It is. Yeah. I see. Well, you know, it's really easy. There's so many things that you um, that are statute things that you've got to do every year and you've got a list of them and you probably have when you vote on various things at various times and you can just stick this on the list for a certain time of year after all the taxes. Right, like now. Yeah, right. yeah. And so we can just do this as a matter of course every right. year uh, and, and it just is, is routine. I mean, somebody could take it to the legislature and try yeah. to clean it up, but I'm not yeah. sure that's what we want to do yeah. right, right now in this decision. But yeah, we don't, don't want to let them pile up too much either. Right. So if we had a... Um, we do this annually. I think yeah. it's the best way to do it. And Tina, if you would like to write up a letter for all of us to sign to send to the legislature, that would be fine. Okay. Yeah. I feel better about that. Um, it doesn't hurt to ask them to clean it up because it isn't clear in the statute right. and there is no mm -hmm. real good statutory way to do it, but I don't think they're going to do anything to us for $11.40. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Scott? Sandra, you mentioned overpayments where they send us too much. Are there, is there a similar there issue is, there? There is a statute not entirely on point to our town mm -hmm. that says overpayments uh, of ten dollars or less mm -hmm. are turned uh, into the general fund of the town. Uh, we don't have a policy for overpayments. Most folks want their overpayments refunded to them. Mm -hmm. And this year, because state payments were so delayed in getting here, we have very significant <coughs> amounts of overpayments. Um, for the, our taxpayers, mm -hmm. roughly thirty-two thousand dollars. Do we have any little bitty ones? Though, like these? Um, there, uh, there might be a couple of one centers, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, which uh, actually the board really doesn't have any authority on those. I I will call those taxpayers and ask them if we can credit it to next year's tax. Yeah, payment. I was just going to say, sorry, maybe we could just yeah. credit anything under ten dollars yeah. to. The following year, the following year, or something like that. But we can't. I think. Yeah. I mean. I think that probably this statute is really old, and it probably mm -hmm. needs some updating. Yeah. But I'm sure the legislature is probably not going to be on the top of their priority list. But it doesn't hurt to ask them because nope. it seems like it would be an easy thing for them to do. 250 towns are dealing with it right. every year. Right. <laughs> 
Might as well clean it up. So Sandra's other request was going forward. And I'm not sure that, you know, we, can, we, we haven't done a policy. I know East Montpelier has a policy. Hmm. Even though technically you're not supposed to do it. I believe East Montpelier, when I checked on this before, has a policy. Hmm. But we decided not to do a policy because statutorily you really aren't supposed to. Um, so I'm not sure how folks feel about Sanders' request going forward to abate or whether you want to just try to meet once a year and do this. What are your thoughts? Yeah, it's easier, the latter. The latter? Excuse me? Eat once a year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once you establish something like that, it could, it could snowball into a large amount. Right. Mm -hmm. Small payments that don't get made. Okay. Yeah. Same. Same? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we'll plan to meet like once a year after tax season and see what there is that needs to be abated. All right. One year from today. Yes. Yeah, I, I guess my only, I'm totally in favor of meeting, to, but I just wouldn't want to meet just to do that. So if there's any way for it to be a meeting where if we're already looking at a board of meeting, or even if it's in, a, if it's in a, I don't know, earlier in November, but. Mm -hmm. Right. To meet for five seconds. Right. We could say. And it's a lot of work to get everybody. Yeah. I mean, when people don't respond to the emails that Judy sends out about meetings, it makes it really hard. You have to call everybody or nudge people. So if you can just keep that in mind when you see an email like that. It would have to wait until the delinquent list mm -hmm. is finalized. Is assembled. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Which isn't until after the yeah. last, after the grace period ends. So, but we'll try to keep that in mind. Yeah. If we were able to make a policy when we weren't supposed to right now, we could still make a policy when we weren't supposed to in October. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If we happen to be meeting for a board of abatement and we're intending to for another three months. Mm -hmm. That's all right. I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, good point. Good point. Um, okay, the next thing we have to do is the minutes from the Hawkins. <laughs> That was a long time ago. I did read them. The only thing I noticed was Nell's name is one L, not two. I was laughing because I was thinking, I'm sure I wasn't at this meeting. Because <laughs> I couldn't remember. And, you, and yeah, I guess you were. were. I guess I was. I guess I made a motion. <laughs> but, okay. This is so. It came back. Who do who do who gets suggested changes? Um, they would go to Katie to make. Katie, yeah. I don't have an H at the end of Hannah. Thank you. One H. Got it. Anything else? All right. I would make a motion that we approve the minutes of May 14th, 2018, which was continued to June 11, 2018. Second. Any further discussion or changes? All right, hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. No. I wasn't present at the meeting. So you're abstaining? Yeah. Does anyone know how this, how things went for the Hawkins later? They paid in full this year. Mm -hmm. And they received a uh, property tax <laughs> tax adjustment credit. So, uh -huh. so they, they got oh, things straightened around. All oh, right, yeah. good. So and they got house, some their house is on the market. And they've had some interest in their house. Okay. So the last Good. time they came in, they seemed a little more hopeful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I felt bad about the whole Yeah, me too. Yeah. 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 Once I remembered it, it was a mess. It was yeah. awful. But we did things the way that we had to. That's the only thing we can do. All right. Anything else before the, the board of abatement would like to discuss or? Other business? Okay. I'll get the decision ready. Um, and I guess who? Shall I send it around for folks to look at? What is what? this? The decision on the March 11 thing that I need to write up? Oh. Yeah, just to take an email. Yeah. Email it, yeah. and I'll give you a drop dead date. And if I don't hear from you, you can send it in. Yep. Right. <laughs> no, no, no. No. Okay, I take that back. I'll take that back. <laughs> All right. Somebody want to make a motion to adjourn? 
my promotion that we had <laughs> All right. Thank you. Second. Thank you. Uh, second. If you don't have to second it. All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, everyone. That's true. Thank you for making these huge packets. Yes, I'm not going to be duties as needed. Right, but she, yeah. And then in that case, she's still reporting to the select board because Sandra's an employee. Right. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that at all. Yeah, okay. Um, it's a good idea. But yeah. but being really clear, and also, I suppose, being clear with Judy, and, you know, just mm -hmm. so that we're clear up front so that... Right. It, it's uglier when it's actually an issue when you're trying to be clear then. Okay, I will draft up a, a letter. Um, would the board like to authorize Sharon and I to work on that letter? Sure. Yeah, we're available. Absolutely. Second. All right. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. And just so you know, um, there have been some preliminary discussions in the um, staff meetings that Denise and I have participated okay. in, talking about you know some of those concerns and they, okay. it, this will yeah. not be a surprise. No. Oh, okay. Good. They'll just they'll just be glad that it's done. Well, yeah. Yeah. We should make sure that our motion actually reflects that we're approving this, not just writing a letter. Mm -hmm. so oh, I thought it did. I'm sorry. Right. Uh, well, it was implied, but we didn't say okay. it. We didn't say it out loud. Okay. Um, all right. Are you upset, Katie? So did we make an, a motion to appoint Barbara as the town auditor? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. So I think maybe we... Okay. So let's go back. Let's do the appointment first and then the letter. Okay. So you made a motion to appoint Barbara Butler? Made a motion to appoint Barbara Butler. Uh, town auditor for Callis. Second. To be town auditor for Callis. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Town yeah. Callis town auditor. Yeah. All right. Is there an Sorry. expiration or it's a one year term? Or? I have to look. I think it's a annual appointment. Mm. So we'll probably have to do it again after March. March. I have to look at the charter for and sure. Motion, that would make sense to put her on the same cycle as. Yeah. And yeah. the motion is to appoint her for the duration. Well, we didn't vote on this one yet. Right. right. Well, we're, it's good to amend it though uh, before, yeah. before we vote. So you're amending your own motion mm. to say for. The duration of this this, this term term right okay. can I second it that all right all those in favor please say aye. aye aye any opposed all right now I would like the board to authorize Sharon and I to work on a letter of employment so moved second okay and that means you authorize me to sign it I see yes that's implied, yes right okay yes. okay very good. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. Okay. All right. Do you? I want to. I want. I need to skip around just briefly because this comes under old business, and I don't want to muddy the waters when we talk about the warning and the budget and all that. I want to be able to focus on that. Do you remember? Um, I told you we had gotten a letter, uh, uh, an NOAV from the state of Vermont Department of Health about asbestos. Yeah, yeah. Over at the town hall, we, we hired Clay Point Associates to come in and backtrack. They found no asbestos, got a clean bill of health. The last thing to do is we need to, and Katie can call that letter up on her, or Cliff. I drafted a letter. Um, to send back, this is the last piece that we have to do mm -hmm. as the board or as the select board. <coughs> and you'll see it when she calls it up. Whoops, that's the Gmail associated with it. Right, this is this guy from Department of Health saying this is one last piece that you need to do. Um, for the cash compliance letter, could you authorize representative of the town? Blah, blah, blah. So I drafted the letter. It's in the Google folder. I think it's that second one, the asbestos. Yeah. Is it a Word document? Yeah. It's up at the top, I think. Oh, ah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Just short and sweet and to the point, really. To this Chris guy. Do we want to spell out what NOAV means? Does it say that anywhere in the letter? 
it's a notice of alleged violation? Well, that's on what they sent us. Right, but if this is going to stand alone, just to have it say. Well, it's going back to the people that issued it to us. With the file number, I can spell it out. It doesn't matter to me. And it's on the case file. I, it just it isn't intuitive to me when I look at it, but if it's always going to live with that. Yeah, you because know, like in five years or ten years, if they're reviewing the files of our renovation and someone comes upon this letter, I didn't know what that meant either. I guess, so, yeah, well, I guess it's because I used to deal with this kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah. So Maybe it's like, like part of the language. I mean, it's all going to be all together, but I can... Yeah. Just once. Just jargon. Once. Jargon. Just, yeah, I think I'm going to start, I'm going to change it. Historic Callis Town Hall notice of alleged violent violation. Yep. File number. Yep. Yeah. Turn it around that way. Okay. Um, they have the report from Clay Point Associates. That's already been done. Um, and this is the required action item number one. And that language I got was recommended by Clay Point Associates to use that wording. So apparently they must have done this before for people. Yep, looks good. Okay, any other comments, Cliff? No, looks done. Okay, so I'm crossing you, the T's here, so. If I make that change at the top under the ray line, are you guys good for me to sign this? Yep, yes. Get this out of the way. So, is that a motion? It's a motion. Second. Okay. Further discussion, Rose? Oh, you're looking at invoices. I I'm looking at invoices. Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, hearing none? All right. Ooh, look at that, it's not even 8 o'clock yet. Ooh, we, had, we had a lot done. We did. Do you want me to update? Um, on the computer support? Yes, please. Support. So, when we last uh, met, we talked about the proposals we've received from a couple of different uh, IT support specialists that are based here in Vermont. The discussion then said maybe we should be turning it around and uh, soliciting an RFP. Mm -hmm. um, and so we wondered, you know, is that a standard practice. What uh, we did is uh, Denise actually uh, suggested this. Uh, we asked Judy to go through her network of yeah. uh, towns and uh, clerks and see if other towns had ever done something similar. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, they, we get some really sterling examples of some RFPs oh, that have been uh, successful. Yes. And <laughs> In, in that process. Found three more candidates? Um, well, we have found more candidates, yes, but also one of the towns that solicited an RFP ultimately contracted with Dominion, and so they must have talked to Dominion and said, well, we're going to share this RFP with uh, Callus. Do you have any objections? And Dominion said no, but then they turned around and contacted us and said, well, we understand you're preparing an RFP. We want to make sure we're in on it. And oh, by the way, here's the, the RFP that was solicited by the town of Richmond. Now we can help you write an RFP, which I'm sure they would love to do. <laughs> <laughs> because then you can tweak it for your own <laughs> response. No, it's funny but, I, know, I know one of the Richmond select board members. But <laughs> the, the bottom line is, is yes, it is a practice. We're not, not, the we're only not ones. having to reinvent the wheel here. Um, so we'll go with the plan of looking to put something together and uh, solicit right, some we have that responses. Other new, that other new company that we found out about. Right. That's TG great. Tech. And that, so, so we'll have the opportunity to shape and with the right. staff's we'll input be driving the what, boat. what they what they need right. and what we want. That's so awesome. Then the question is, is when we talked about last time, we said, when do we need to do this? Mm -hmm. um, can we establish a budget number based upon the, the 
solicitations we've already received, or do we need to get this RFP going sooner rather than later so that we have replies that we can I don't see how we have time right. not to, do it well. to do it, not, to, not to do a good job. Really I think we up. can take the two numbers that we have. Plus, well, historically, we've given the RB technology. Right, that's what I'm talking about, yeah. the two numbers, the RB tech and the proposed okay. Dominion, and come up with a line item. Yep, and yeah. then I like, I really like the story that we're going to tell the town, which is, you know, this is a, a placeholder, and we are starting a process where we're going to go out to bid, basically. Yeah, go out to bid so it's competitive, and so we get to define what the, what the right. program is. Well, what I will do then is, um, because she's already put an amount into the budget, you it's, look at it's that? called Computer DRA on the budget. Right, but we asked her to change and that. And we asked her to change it. Uh, so it's a little more clear what it. What does the R A stand for? We, Nobody knows for sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, 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 I'm like, Nobody, do not resuscitate. That's what I keep thinking. <laughs> DNA, computer DNA. So if they all DNR. die. Um, real, <laughs> DNR. It's it's it's, it's like <laughs> disaster DNA. recovery administration or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Data yeah. recovery yeah. administration. So we asked her to just change it to like computer support. Yeah. I T I T computer. IT, IT service and support. Yes, IT service. That sounds, that good. sounds good. I okay. mean, that really kind of tells you. Yay, that sounds really good. And so I, will, I can come back to the next meeting and say, yes, I think this number is probably good, or maybe we should look to adjust it mm -hmm. based upon what we know. And I, yeah, and I like that we're not going to take them up. I mean, most purchase policies would say that you cannot contract with somebody who helps you. No, uh, although I know from another uh, lifetime when I was uh, responding to municipal RFPs for a company that manufactured automated ticketing systems that it was a very common practice for a vendor to gosh you guys are so overloaded we can write a rough draft for you to get you yeah. going down the road yeah and then you guys can approve it take it from there well yeah we can just tell you what's common in these things uh-huh. Well, we've got that from their RFI, so we really right. appreciate that. Thank you. That's right. <laughs> I don't see. Are we using that page? Anyways, um... I think you're our secret weapon, Cliff. Yeah. You're the ringer. I'll do my best. And service the town counts. All for well, the payment of... Right. <laughs> for uh, uh, $594. Four dollars before taxes. <laughs> All right, what's next on our list? Um, let's do budget and warning one more time. Now, Sandra is going to be coming in to meet with the board at our next meeting. Um, so first off, we'll have next meeting, OB will meet with Eastmont Player Select Board to go over the budget that is presented to us by East Montpelier Fire Department this week, Thursday night at mm -hmm. 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, see what they have to say. And I looked at their preliminary numbers. It looks like it's going up some. It's definitely not, it's not a lot, but we have the other issue of Woodbury Fire Department looming. Right. We've got to keep that in mind. Um, then Sandra will be on to talk with us. It'll be good for her to be here when we're talking with East Montpelier because we might set some numbers. And that's at 7 next week, right? We're at right. regular time. Right. And it's here. And it's here, yeah. Last year we went to them. Um, so that'll take a while, that discussion. I'm thinking at least 45 minutes, probably. And people from East Montpelier Fire Department will probably show up. Ty, Ty will probably show up and Toby to probably answer any questions or listen to the discussion. Mm -hmm. um, and then Sandra would be on, and we're gonna need to start really looking at the budget and making some decisions, some hard decisions about what we're gonna do. Yep. <clears throat> for next time, I hope to have a warned item written by Jim for the assessor piece that we've talked about. Um, when do we 
have, we have to finalize the budget by January 7th, but we're two meetings in December we're not meeting because it's Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve or something like that. Some foolish holiday like that. <laughs> Christmas Every Eve once in a while they come on a Monday. Once they come on a Monday, right. They just kind of get in the way. Um, so we're going to have a spell of like two weeks where we're not going to be able to talk about any of this, but we're going to have to make decisions. So really, the Monday, December 17th, we really, I think, really need to be focused on, we'll have met with Sandra, gotten a health insurance update, <coughs> what I want to do about that, and then the 17th will be our last meeting in this calendar year. Do we want to try to meet, Denise, to take that, because you're right, we, we're losing two Mondays. Do we want to try to meet like on like Thursday the 27th? Because it's sort of in the middle of. Are you guys available? Are you available? I am available. I'm going to be off the week before Christmas and the week of Christmas for New Year's. So you're off to work, but you're here. Yeah. Not going to California? Nope. Katie, are you available? 27th, yep. Rose? Turn my page. Okay. We could what just, day? Oh, Thursday. Thursday. The I mean, we could strictly make it to do budget, town report, that kind of stuff, and mm -hmm. try to keep it to like an hour or something. Mm -hmm. And I mean, for that matter, I, I'm flexible. Cliff is flexible. Yeah, the 28th works for me. Well, it doesn't have to. Well, I'm wondering if you're work, are you working on the 28th? Yeah, I have to work till six. Oh, okay. But so I was gonna say we could yeah. do it in yeah. the daytime, but. Oh, but we no. could do it in the day, but Rose is working, so. Right. Well, yeah, and I have a hair appointment in the morning. Just do you know how many hair appointments I've canceled for the board and town <laughs> stuff? Do you have any idea? Well, wait a hair oh. appointment well, wait a 1030. Where are you getting your hair done? Maybe we could all we get can go there. <laughs> <laughs> we could talk while under the drop. <laughs> um, I could do it in the evening. Friday, the 28th, if... You wanted to do it the 29th, at, the 28th, Friday the 28th. I start work at 12 noon. Oh, so if you wanted to do like you know that, 9 that to 11, because the office is closed on Friday the 28th. Do, I don't think I can do Friday morning because the office is closed on Fridays. So that's a good time for if we're going to meet during the day. That would, a Friday would be the better option than trying to meet during the day when there's stuff going on. I can't meet on Friday morning that week. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. So Thursday the 27th. At 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. I'll put it on the calendar. Like, there oh, you put it on the calendar already? I will. I will. Oh, good. That gives us a, a meeting. Right, because I think we may really need yeah, it. Yeah, we'll have warrants or something. Right. Um, all right. We can all bring our leftover Christmas cookies. All right. All right, let's look at the um, warning first, because that's easier. Um, I'm gonna take out. I thought we could put this. I thought we'd put the Central Vermont State Police Advisory Board in, but they're not really a social services agency. Mm -hmm. That's true. So last year we just put it in the budget. But not, but why why are they different? Wait wait what? It, this is it's not a, the one. This is not the one you and I were emailing mm -hmm. about. This is not the Peter Harvey request. Yes, it is. It is okay. Yeah. So, but why are they? Because okay. they're not really a social services agency. It's a board, state police advisory board. So it's not like home health or... Oh, it's for the... It, Cal it's Cal not anything that a Calus resident can go to and access services right. or what it's can you do for me. It's not a kind of thing. But you neither know. is Friends of Winooski River, right? I mean, that's I was going through looking for... True. But Friends of the Winooski does do trainings and outreach and... Things like that. The State Police Advisory Board is strictly appointees. It's a liaison the, board between the Vermont State Police and each of the towns that they cover in our area. And um, each town appoints two people to serve on the board. And this hundred dollars just is like I did go last January to the meeting, yeah. and the um, unit commander for the Middlesex Barracks retired. So, you know, they had refreshments and cake and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So they just need a little bit of money right. in case they have to 
chip in for pizza or something. But okay, so I'm gonna just keep pushing on this. Cliff, can you roll up to the article, please? Mm -hmm. Shall the voters in appropriate indicated sums as requested for the following organizations? There's nothing that we call it social services, but mm -hmm. it doesn't say social services. I think that's the way it's always been interpreted. That it's mainly social it's social service agencies. How friends of the Winooski, you're right. I, I, I don't know that I want to, I don't know, again, do we want to make a big deal out of $100? Mm -hmm. No, absolutely not. Uh, no, I just, what I liked about it, though, is the transparency of all the onesie twosie stuff being mm -hmm. the same, that's discretionary. You know, it's not funding a well, business. In the, Where is it now? It's on, uh, I don't know what I did with my Page 25, but it. it's under 6,800 social service appropriations is how it's labeled what page? in the budget. Uh, 25. This is Vermont State Police? Well, I'm saying all of these organizations. Right, they're this under is how this. Show. Right. That's the primary. Where header. is it now? Because I couldn't find it initially here. 6521. No, this is Vermont State Police Advisory oh, Board oh, you're donation. Right. I don't know where. It's not in here. 6524. No, did we do this last time? We did. 6524, Sharon's saying. Yep, right under the Solid Waste Management District. And dog expenses, which are both, those are both oh, like yeah. real things. 24. Those are things that cost us money yeah. to do stuff for town. Oh, Vermont State Police Advisory Board. It's all initials and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. $100. So I guess it's more in line with things like Town of Vermont Solid Waste Management and. I, that, I, I don't that's I for a making... service, though. When we pay, right? We're right. we're paying for a service to the solid right. waste management district, and we're certainly pay, paying for a contract and services to the Central mm -hmm. Vermont Humane Society, which is the line below it. Right. Like I said, it's a hundred bucks. I don't want to make a big issue out of it. I don't care where it goes, but it needs to. Peter asked that we have the hundred dollars yeah. again. No. Yeah. No problem with that at all. I I like it there. That's, I guess that's maybe other that's just folks. Me. That's when I was thinking about it, where it seemed to me it made sense for it to go, but that's not where it's historically gone. Right. But we're all about making things make more sense. Right. Yeah. Um, I guess I don't have a preference either way, although I understand the importance of that one hundred dollars, and I wouldn't want somebody to stand up at town meeting day and get nitpicky about it. That's true. There's and another piece. you know. And they're not asking for more than a hundred. Yeah, and and historically, I think we've given them, you know, just a very small amount of money, fifty or now a hundred. Um, so that would you be make my a really only, good. You make a really good point about that. We wouldn't have to label it new though, because it's no, not no, no. New. I just did that. Yeah, that's for just our for us. Yeah. Right, 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 right. So we wouldn't have to call it out in any way. Yeah. Um, I mean, typically these things slide through. Yeah. We had the increase mm -hmm. last year to the battered women circle thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, typically, people don't. We well, we used to get a lot of discussion when it was the library we came yeah. here. Well, right. Yeah. So, yeah. I never mind. I won't drag us all through the entertainment value of all of those discussions over the years. You know, where somebody right. would say, "Let's reduce this one," and um, then somebody else would say, "That's great. Let's take that money and put it here." And right. We would end up with a net increase. But you know what? The when you do all of these social services things, I was just looking at the payments. For all of these types of things, it's fifty-five thousand dollars between this twenty-four thousand and some of these other appropriations that we have. It comes out to quite a bit of money, fifty-five thousand dollars. So this adds up to twenty-four. This line, right? This group. But I'm talking about different yeah. other appropriations yeah. that are fixed amounts. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, it's a hundred yeah. bucks. I don't want to spend right. all night talking about it. Right. Uh, yeah. So you decide. Doesn't, but you do raise a good point about it could get shot down. Yeah, and you know, again, when you look at the titles of these, to me, they are places where you go to access services. Um, People's Health and Wellness Clinic, the Senior Center, Vermont Association for the Blind, Independent that's a, the majority Living. of them. Are. Most, so most, yeah, most, but not all, and that's yeah. Kind of the I mean, you got the old, you got the old West Church, which is it doesn't necessarily a, right. That's a placeholder for them. Right. The yep. Green Up Vermont is a placeholder. For even friends of Winooski, you know, they do a lot of services yeah. for in the town and other towns. 
So I think I think we just you I'm leave sorry, it wherever you want to put it. it. I like the idea of putting it here because I I put it there. Yeah. But I think it needs to go back to where it was. All right. What else okay. are we talking about? All right. Um, we confirmed that there's no increase in Kellogg Covered Library. Sandra had reworded the articles for the taxes. Sharon did that? Yeah. Yeah. And I thought that, that was very good. Yeah, me too. Thank you for doing that. You're welcome. Uh, and so on this one that was just, did she go by any postmarks? Sandra? I'm going to ask her at staff meeting. Oh, okay. I thought that might be a better time to bring up the issue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. And then I was looking at the minutes. When we get the minutes done, I will forward them to Craig. Mm -hmm. And I made actually a change after you saw them because there was a, I was thinking about later in the day and I realized there's a point that we talked a lot about here that actually wasn't in the minutes. So we're going to get to that. Yeah. Because I thought that's the best way to address this Craig's concern is to send him a copy of the minutes where he can see that the, yeah. the whole board talked about it. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and really it's and, a... And give it to Sandra, too. And also it's a thank you for raising the issue. Mm -hmm. um, and the real problem is that we didn't have that in the, in in the, the wording. In right. the wording, so right. we're correcting that. Right. I did. I thanked him before. Yeah. I, said, yeah. I thanked him for pointing it out that we needed to clarify it. So... Yeah, the other one. Yep. Um, and then, of course, Jim will review the whole warning before we print it right. anyways. So another good reason to have that extra meeting in December. Um, I'm assuming we want to put the Woodbury Fire Department. We need to have them come back in and talk to us, maybe the 17th, I would ask them, <laughs> because they were going to have a board meeting, because we raised the issue about this is a lot of money all at once. Yeah. And they were going to have a board meeting, so I think I'll ask... Woodbury Fire Department to come in on the uh, 17th. Chance and um, Paul. Mm -hmm. Let's see what they talked about at their board meeting. Did their figures change? But I think we should put this on as an article and not just put it in the budget yep. because it's the first time. Yep, mm -hmm. absolutely. That it's being asked for. Yes. Um, the assessor. So that's kind of, kind of, I think that's pretty much it on the warning again. We decided to take the grand juror or whatever it is out, right? That's what I would suggest, because you don't really have to have it. Does, that, does everybody agree? So I can take that off. Yeah. It doesn't really serve any purpose. Yeah. They never did anything anyways, and now they got even less to do. Well, they used to. Uh, ages ago they ages, did. Ages, right. Yeah. Not now. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about budget here. Our, anybody want a hard copy? I do. Yes, absolutely. And we asked Sandra to Thank turn you. in and put the notes, which That's is great. really great. Do you want one of these? This is a good one. You do? I can look up on that. Oh, you got I it. I think I can look at it. Yeah, it didn't right. look, it didn't. When I viewed it online, it didn't like this was one page, mm -hmm. and then the notes were a different page. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Here is the cemetery. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Where we're this is where we're at right now with the cemetery commission. And they have yet to finalize their numbers and get them to Sandra. So let's go like. Just like we did last time, page by page. Um, <clears throat> start off the select board administrator. It's really 550, which adds a couple thousand dollars to that line item for a year. Um, select board salaries. We just talked about that. Are you guys good with leaving it where it's at? Yep. Mm -hmm. um, credit professional fees. I don't know why we still have Father Gill and Segali in here. Hang on, though. Oh. 
Um, what are you looking at? The one, the 4200 for recording. But we probably already did this. So that that is... Well, that was my best guess estimate. It hasn't Kate. been that much. Though. You think that's too, that's high? I think it's a good guess, but it wasn't that much in the past year. Do you know what it was for a year? I ha I'll have to pull it up. I don't know it off the top of my head. And then some of it, and then we would want that separate from Conservation Commission. Yes. I keep those separately, but you're right. The, the amount budgeted, like in fiscal year 18 and 19, did not include me doing anything other than take the minutes and I've been doing like updating to the website and things like right, that. Right, yeah, you've been doing a lot more, but so I want to make sure we have enough money to pay you. Is that what you're seeing is about four hours a week? Uh, we didn't start doing that until this summer, so I, I've only been working for you for one year at this point, and we started about in the springtime last the, year. Right, and then in the summer we added a lot of days, yeah. and I can see, I think there's probably more that Katie could do eventually. But I want to make sure we have enough money to pay her. It's, yeah, it's it's not a lot. It's not a lot. Yeah. You know, we may have to trim mm -hmm. it a few hundred dollars when we go through and yeah. slash and burn. Right. Why don't I get the total for what it's been for a year? Okay. From Sandra. Right. And then the planning commission is going to have that project that you're working on with Jan. Mm -hmm. So we got to make sure we got money in the planning commission budget for Which that. Which is separate, right? right. Entirely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. I just I think I like it. To be separate so that everybody knows how much right mm -hmm. right so they can unplug right without professional fees legal fees I'd like to leave it at 15 because we don't know what's gonna and you're gonna change the father goes to galley I don't know why that says father goes to galley do you know yeah, well it, I think it, it might be could just be you know accounting services or something instead of father goes again <laughs> yeah yeah, that was the um, that was the explanation for FY 2018. Yeah. Okay. Um, independent audit. That's Sullivan and Powers, and that's the contract price that we signed. Website. Yeah, I we cut the um, select board line item for education and training because we're putting that in the various different boards and commissions line items. Mm -hmm. Copier lease, that's set mileage, that's not a high amount. Volunteer dinner. Um, when did we do that last year? We did it in October and I'm looking to maybe this year do it in January or February, some sometime in between um, town meeting and the holidays. Sounds because good. things just got too crazy for me to plan it. And we'd have to look at where to have it, Maple Corner or East Callis Rec Center. Both have kitchens. So, root abatement, we talked about that with Sandra. And that is, there was no place to put that figure in the previous years when we had that abatement. There was no place to put it in the budget line item, so that's why it went under miscellaneous. Um, and it's just, it's good to have a miscellaneous column for who knows what might come up. Root abatement is just, that is a family, right? That was, right. That, so this and is, that was something when that $500 was spent, I mean, when that $900 was spent, right, or whatever it was, there was no place in the budget to put it, and there was a miscellaneous item, right. line item, so that's why. Two years ago, it got put there. So the only request I have is that we change the explanation to... Um, well, change it for now. Change it for now, right. But it right. could just say, you know, tax abatements. It wouldn't even, it probably wouldn't even be that. Right. Um, it's, just a, it's just a miscellaneous. Et cetera. Just, just to remind us. I just find it, I keep getting tripped on, on the root. On the I root. I trip root on the root. Right. Yeah. Root vegetable. But yeah. all of, some of these explanations obviously are going to go away. Right. When we get. Obviously, yeah. Into 20. But I still think, because I talked to Sandra about it, I still think it's a good idea just to have a few hundred dollars in a miscellaneous line item because you don't know what's going to come up. You never know. Although we did talk to Sandra about relabeling it 
possibly calling it unforeseen expenses or something. Yeah, something like unbudgeted. That. Yeah, unbudgeted. That's wow. a that is a big old red flag though. Yeah, I think miscellaneous. I like um, miscellaneous can be a lot of things. Yeah. Um, grants. I have to check in with um, Colleen and Josh and see if this is going to be. Is this again this year? I talked to the Historic Preservation Commission about this CLG grant, and this is the one that they told us about that they're going to apply for for Adamant Village. Mm -hmm. um, the most it would cost the town is four. Some of that could actually be, some of that 4000 could actually be in kind. So when we're doing slash and burn, if we have to, we could reduce that. Mm -hmm. What does CLG stand for again? Certified Local Government. Um, town clerk wages, just a town clerk. I guess we'll just leave that as it is for now, unless yeah, we need to talk. We need yeah. to talk about that. Big yeah, time. this all, all of these need to go in a executive session on personnel issues, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Land records. Um. Judy did some checking in, and the original quote of like I think it was twenty one, it might have been twenty one thousand or something. Yep, um, was not a searchable database. Oh, so what's not really helpful if it's not searchable? So okay. she said, well, what would it cost for it to be searchable? And it was a little over thirty thousand, but they think, and we're waiting for this guy from this. Hot place to get back to us. Maybe we'll find out on Wednesday. <clears throat> um, they think that they can do it, but put the price out over three years, so it'll be like ten thousand a year oh. instead of thirty something thousand all at once. Oh, and that will include searchable. Well, but there's new information here. So digitalization of all index cards. That's all we're doing. Um, Yeah, I think that that, isn't that what it's supposed to do? I don't understand your question, I guess. Um, this oh, is the same, same project, but it's searchable. Right. What wasn't clear, I think, in, from the notes in the last one is that we're only indexing, we're only doing the index cards, which is a different... Digitization, well, it says the same thing. It says digitization of all index records. Okay, then I just wasn't focusing. From that. 1943 to 2011. Um, Is that what you mean? Yeah, it's, okay. um, I don't know, it's, it's, not, it's not everything it could be, you're right. Um, but no, probably not. We may have to do... It's all right. It's, it's you know, it's, we're small town. It's phases and all. Right. And, and the, yeah. So the fact that we can do it over, pay for it over three years, is really good. Absolutely. Um, if there's additional comments on page three under general office expenses relating to the cost, please. Well, let's wait till we get. Mm -hmm. Let's wait till we get there. Okay, um, Mr. Wages, or Mr. Budget. Uh, yeah, from three thousand to eight thousand to twelve thousand. Yeah. It would um, be nice to have some just math. Um, the blister increase to to Rose's point. Well, before we really weren't we weren't really compensating. We had Eva, Randy, Randy Fitch, Fitch, and Sai maybe. No, it wasn't no. Cy. Um, I forget. And they didn't put in much of anything for expenses. You know, wages. Mm -hmm. And then we went from that to Jan and John 
and Wilson? No, Wilson just came on last year. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they were putting in some expenses, but they were really putting in a lot more time than what they were getting paid for. So that's why we agreed to go up yeah. to the 12000 So I don't know what other explanation. Uh, well, you're right. It's um, But it's a $9,000 increase. From FY. From... Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah. You're right. You're right. It's it was budgeted this year as a twelfth. Never right. mind. Okay, right. so we already did that big jump. Right. All right. Never mind. I okay. wonder what it would cost for the assessor. This compared to an assessor, if it's cost we're budgeting more. twelve, yeah. it's um, probably going to be thirty-six thousand or something. You know, for a yeah, person it's for a job. Yeah, salary. Um, and that's another employee. Right. So, yeah. Unless they're an independent contractor, like the accountant. Well, yeah, that's right, the, but we might have the same result with that. You mean as far as the cost? I mean, with Sullivan and Powers? No, never mind. No, just, you know, hiring a contractor. I mean, if you get a contractor who's really going to do it, it's going to be real money, I would think. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what we need to be thinking about. Okay, max two thousand. Um, what, what, what is this town clerk expense? Fewer max. Digitizing survey maps. Does anybody understand what that means? Um, town clerk expense fewer maps that part I don't understand digitizing the survey maps just means taking the maps that are uh, I think right, I know what that means I don't understand what the comment is. yeah does it mean that they lowered the budgeted amount because there are fewer maps I don't know that's how I interpreted it you did mm -hmm. there's fewer maps that need it Maybe. So we can ask Judy what this means. Yeah, maybe and we got caught up on digitizing them and yeah. now it's just as they come in. And actually, We can make up lots of explanations. Yeah. And actually, I'm almost thinking that when she wrote town clerk expense, the section up above says total town clerk. So is she thinking that maybe that line item should get moved? Put moved, yeah, moved under the town clerk's budget. Uh -huh. Oh, maybe. Well, we can ask because mm -hmm. we'll see him on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Lister expense, postage, education. So their budget is going up a little less than 2000 Treasurer, that's another one we'll talk about in the executive session when we re kind of do a personnel review. Do we have insurance numbers yet? No. Okay. That's what we hope to have next week when Sandra comes in. Mm -hmm. Until we have some of those insurance numbers, it's really... That could really make a big difference. Right. Um, auditor, we did that. Town report. <clears throat> Delinquent taxes. Election expenses are actually going to go down because we probably won't have, we don't have anything big in 2019. We don't have president. We don't have governor. Special. Well, that's this fiscal year. Oh, yeah, that's true. A special a meeting in January meeting for Act 46. Oh, I'm, I'm talking about elections. I'm talking about elections for like president and governor and. We could wish for a special election for some positions. <laughs> <laughs> we could. What a presidential. Let's hold one. Just hold on. We'll do it on our own. There you go. Take the initiative. All right. Now your comment from before about contracts, con um, general office expenses, contracts, NEMRIC, COTS, that's different than the digitizing. That's our contracts with them, right? 
Yeah, but I'm trying to understand how that ties in because it does say, you know, it includes 150 cards are digitized this year. Caught at 345 a month. This includes 150 of cards are digitized this year, meaning the, I think that this year they mean, we can get clarification. If we spend the $10,000, then right. it's 150. And isn't it saying that once the index cards are digitized, the <coughs> monthly fee goes up? <coughs> Which I don't have a problem with. Right. The one is the one is the work of getting them digitized. Right. Which is that thirty-one thousand or whatever. And then maintaining them going right. Forward. And maintaining your subscription. Yeah. And that's includes Nemric. Okay, here we go with the data. Oh, here it is. Count DRA, and we talked to Sandra about putting in IT support. For some reason, it's I guess it's supposed to say DRA, whatever that. Um, yeah, basically what she said is if you've had something in your budget and you've spent money on it. You have to leave it that way. You have to leave it. You can add additional descriptors. Um, if you don't spend any money on it for three years, then it can go away. Right. Huh. Yeah. For auditing purposes. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. if they go back to look at audits and... They can track it. So we asked her to put in this IT support, which mm -hmm. explains what it... That's what it really right. is. Right. Um, See, so there you go with that. Maintenance. Now we asked them what... Okay, the maintenance item is um, includes the janitorial when somebody comes to clean here and they clean the town office, but it also includes water filtration, furnace cleaning, um, checking the septic. The maintenance of the all the heating, ventilation, right. AC, etc. And when we this is only the office. When the town hall is back up and running, it would have its own maintenance so line item. The no, I lost it. The sixteen hundred. This is on the maintenance line. Yep. Um. One of the. It was two thousand this year budget at right. nineteen. Now it's sixteen hundred, but it says it's a six hundred reduction. So is it a six hundred reduction that we're gonna see somewhere else? You're gonna see it added to the facilities maintenance. The facilities maintenance, which is the line below. Okay, so it's more than six hundred popping up there. And then the sixteen hundred if we were taking six hundred out and stopping that would be fourteen hundred, not sixteen hundred. Right, but she said she backed out Andy and put it to fourteen hundred and then increased the line. Okay. Right. Because okay. we're adding a facilities maintenance line item. And I have no idea, I just put in twenty five hundred. Andy's still willing to do a lot of stuff for the fifty dollars a month, including donating some of his time, which he's done over at the town hall already. Right. Um but there are going to be times, I think, when it's going to cost us a little more. Um, but when you take those two lines together, because they used to all live in the maintenance line, yeah. the total proposed is 4100 so it's more than double the 2000 from the previous budget. Yeah. FYI. Yeah. Good to keep that in mind. Um, generator. I think that's a pretty much a fixed cost. And it's going up because we agreed to pay the school's mm -hmm. portion, remember? Yeah. Um, Telephone might go up because we've been adding two additional lines because of the new system. Advertising, postage. 
Yeah, we spent more on supplies in FY18 than we had budgeted. <clears throat> We budgeted 25 and we spent 39. Mm -hmm. This current year we're at 3,000. And you well, think we, we got to go up 1,500 more? Um, Plus the 1,500 below it. For equipment. Let's see where we're at. Yeah. Um, let's see if I can find Yeah, that's a here. lot. Yeah, so that's doubling. That's another double. Yeah, yeah, that's that's not. Let's good. see what we spent so far. Okay, so far, to date, which is this is through June thirtieth, we budgeted three thousand. We've spent two thousand four hundred forty-one dollars. We have five hundred fifty-eight dollars left, and it's not even January. For the next six months. So I don't think what. And that's on supplies, or yeah. on, so the, so those are like paper towels, paper. Just, these are not buying stuff that is then going to last for a long time. Right, that's my understanding of what it is. So when they're talking about supplies, yeah, it's you know it's office supplies. Yeah. You know maybe we bump it to thirty-five hundred. When we go through and cut, slash, and burn. But we can ask about this um, supplies. We can ask about this on um, mm -hmm. Wednesday. And how supplies are different from equipment. Well, I think like equipment. That's it's capital. solid. It's capital. And right. Do yeah. we capitalize it? No, mm -hmm. obviously we don't. No, not for things like file cabinets and things like that. Hmm. Dedicated copier printer for the treasurer. Yeah, because what happens now with this new copier, you have to yell out, I'm printing, and hope that somebody else hasn't printed and doesn't have a big document. Right, and then all of her tax bills she has to reprint because... And that all goes to there? The tax bills and stuff, she wants her own dedicated printer to print those kinds of things, checks, tax bills, so that she doesn't have to yell out from her desk, I'm printing checks, but somebody else hits the button at the same time, so their, the their, document, get, their document gets printed on the blank checks. Right. So then you waste a whole ton of blank checks. Well, not to mention financial sensitivities. Well, that was the other, that was the other piece. Yeah. Right. She'll and print something and it, nobody steps on it, but then something happens and she can't go grab it off the printer. Right. Well, right. And then no, and if, if, it, if we're talking about this copy over here, the other problem is that this is the one the lawyers use when they're, so it's, this is the public copy here too. Well, yeah. So she's looking for her own dedicated printer, which I don't think is. That's not that. That's not 300 it. bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we talked about how they might all want desks and get rid of the file cap, the countertops. New chairs. And new chairs, which they're going to look into the. Ergonomic. Thing. Yeah, the passive grants yeah. for ergonomic. Actually, um, the initial response on that did come back and that yes the grant is is applicable mm -hmm. to uh, ergonomic chairs it has to fulfill some certain uh, requirements but right basically they said yeah you can go over to staples and find some chairs that fulfill these requirements mm -hmm. and you know get them right. to qualify yeah it's pretty straightforward so that can provide some relief good yeah um, we don't need accountants world anymore. We don't use them anymore, but we have to leave it for three years. Three, three years away. Yeah. Um, this the benefits piece. We're hoping to get more, like I said, more information next mm -hmm. meeting. Well, yeah. So I'm just looking at the. Is that this town? This town office section mm -hmm. doesn't have any 
big questions left in it, right? We've been kind of raising one of the, but there's no big blanks. No. So that one is, in overall, is close to doubling. That one, that section is one. Well, we have, um, why would it be doubling? Oh, I know, because of the, um, the, the office That's fund, the town yeah. office fund, and then you know we were we pointing the, out as we went through that. Well, we got also the reason it's also increasing is because it's probably going to cost us more for IT support. And that's a significant increase in that line item, and it looks like these cots and Nemric uh, monthly fees are going up. So that's your two biggest line items in this whole mm -hmm. section that we don't have a lot of control over. And the town office fund for the 15000 that's like a capital reserve fund? That's that reserve fund that we established and we decided it should be broken out into so much for town office, so much for town hall. Mm -hmm. the, um, I think it's cleaner that way. The IT support, I think, if my math is right, is a 15% increase. Was it? Yep. Um, I'm not, I think that's about what it is. Um, so on a percentage, it's a big, it's a bigger number than some of the others. But on a percentage basis, it, it isn't double, and there were a lot of doublings. So you got to go forward? Yep, we can go forward. Yeah, I think these are the ones that we, when they come to slash and burn, mm -hmm. we have to look at really closely. Mm -hmm. Right, but if we want really good IT support, we're going to have to spend some money. You're right, but I think it, there might be I some other what opportunities. Sharon's suggesting is there may be opportunities in other areas. Oh, yeah, we will slash and burn in other places. We have to. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, like I said, we said last time, this is like everybody's wish list right now including ours. Um, county tax, we still don't have that. That's usually one of the last things we get. And we decided to leave the Vermont State Police Advisory Board in this section, correct? Yep. Yes. So we need to put that $100 back in. So we need to remember to tell Sandra. Um, we need to also be thinking about our zoning people that don't want to do this forever and it's probably going to cost us more money. So we need to be thinking about that, add more dollars. Um, planning Commission. We need to put in a figure that Katie's going to try to help us with. Jen and I are talking tomorrow. Yeah, okay. Um, that's going up quite a bit. Fire and ambulance, hopefully we'll have the East Montpelier stuff this week. Conservation fund is going up a little bit, but don't forget that's because we transferred a couple hundred dollars from our budget line item to planning conservation for training. Right. Um, I was just looking to see if we had any questions from last week that we got answers to. Oh, tax abatement. That section was added. That's a new section because you'll see all zeros. And I don't know how we figure out what kind of a number to put in there. From the root abatement. 
Yeah. $900. I don't understand how we can have a line item for this. Because how do you know? Yeah, I was thinking about that earlier when we were on the on the root abatement. Like, why would you want to budget for that? It's like, I know. It's like an invitation know. to say. Yeah. <coughs> Okay, we'll, we'll get more I like it better as an explanation for miscellaneous. Mm -hmm. That and other things. Okay, social services stuff. Um, Judy had put out a deadline for this, for these, and I don't remember now what the deadline was, but it's coming up. So if these add up to $50,000 in total, were these and some other things like Kellogg covered libraries in there. But we've got heard from them. Right. Central not cell waste management. That's not going up. So but that's included in that fifty five I was talking about. So these these are total this group here, the social services, is totally discretionary, right? Right. And it comes to roughly twenty four thousand. And we don't uh libraries in there. But they're already in there. So so we're I'm thinking well this is yeah, they're in there in the budget. They're not in the warning that way. Library is a separate warned item. Right, okay. Well, where I was going with that is if we put out a deadline and we haven't heard from them, that's a place to get some money. Yeah, if they don't respond. By the deadline. Yeah. It's pretty harsh. But they know, these agencies know that they have to do this every year. Come on, thing. So we can, I'll ask at, um, it's, you know, we could, it, I'll ask Judy what the deadline is on Wednesday. Yeah, didn't we, we had a different kind of form that they didn't have to petition every year, and if you right. got your appropriation last year. And then we you, just put in the same amount. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But, so but we, we do need to hear from them? Three, don't don't I, mean, I don't remember. I don't remember what, what we decided Judy. to. Okay. Because if we were gonna if we were gonna go that direction and start to play hardball with that, mm -hmm. maybe a final reminder might say, you know, the select board has let me know that we will not. Right. If you miss the deadline. If you miss the dead. If if in fact there is a deadline. If what we've right. said. Yeah, I'm sure there is a deadline because, you know, everything has a deadline because it has to go to the printer by a certain right. day. Right. So. Right. You know. Hmm. So we'll get more information on that on Wednesday. Yeah. To update yeah. everybody on yeah. But Monday. if she could keep track of who comes in before deadline and who doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that we actually have that information if we have to make some really hard decisions. Oh, yeah. yeah. Not just if we finally heard from them, but yeah. it, was at, it was late. Okay. So that's that. Oops. Did we go all the way to the end? Ish. Pretty so much. Good. Pretty much. There's a lot of holes at the end. There's, I was going to say, yeah. oh, that, that's a good number. Yeah. But even with all those blanks, look at the bottom line at the end. Well, if you look at the budgeted for FY19 and the proposed for FY20, with all the blanks. Right. We're, it's, we're under what we had budgeted for FY19, but we don't have all the blanks filled in. That's what I'm saying, because that's not a big enough delta the, to fill all those blanks. What's the... Point one. Can you figure out the difference there? Yeah. The difference or the percentage? Well, let's Both. start with the difference. Six, seven, oh, one, two, two, nine, seven, four, nine, the difference is 212,000. 212,000, <coughs> right. Um, which is, and that's without filling all the blanks in, right? Uh, which is fifteen. Well, it's fifteen percent of this year's proposed. That doesn't tell us much. No. Anyway, it's a big number. Yeah, it's a big number, but it's not big enough to close all those holes comfortably at all. I don't think so. Okay, um, we'll get more information and report back. Um, Does this live in Excel? Do you have this in Excel? 
No. Um, it's in the folder. In Excel? I think so. Okay. All you but have to do is you have, have to download it from the folder yeah, yeah, to your yeah. desktop and then you can open it. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. Yeah. So we can do some percentage yeah. manipulating. I might do that if I'm not free town. Oh, wow. You know me and spreadsheets. I know. I know. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Where are we? Whoa, baby. I know. It happens every year. It doesn't get any easier. Did you want to say anything with cemeteries? This seems you a gave lot us this harder than last year. Though. Yeah, it's going to be hard. It is. Because I don't well, remember. The Woodbury Fire Department thing is huge. Yeah. And they're, yeah. Sorry, I cut you off. Mm -hmm. No, no. I was thinking um, cemeteries. Really, there's not a lot. I mean, they they make their own budget. Yeah, it goes on the warning. Um, you know, there's so this be is changes. oh, this is the expenditure report as of November third. Right, yeah. right, not their new budget. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, let's do minutes. I don't really have anything much to, to update on from my perspective. We are going to go into a second yes. session. Let's do the minutes. So I made another change in the minutes. Okay, which is? is working on getting to this. So I'll just talk about it before it okay. comes up. So in the context of the question that was raised about the postmark, mm -hmm. uh, the point that I that I added is the point that I to the minutes is the point that I made in the conversation last week that 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 typical rules of construction would say. Um, it's, there's a lot. There's a read what you wrote? Sure. If you've got it, yes, read it. So for that sentence you wrote, under common rules of statutory construction, the fact that the postmark provision was not part of number 13 means the voting body, i.e. the town meeting voter, voters, did not intend to include it, particularly when another provision clearly included the postmark provision. Yeah. So that's the common rule of construction, which I added to have Sandra's back because that's what people were so right. mad about. She applied what is what any lawyer would do. Would do. Mm -hmm. Right. And I really wanted to be Can we see them? to be clear um, yeah. that she, over here. she didn't oh. she's not off the reservation in that interpretation. And so I hadn't added that in, it occurred to me later we didn't make that point in the minutes, but we did talk about it. So I we added, did talk about it. Yeah. I added that in. Yeah, you can see it. Okay. Um, and then there was like something I added, and um, and that the board also noted the treasurer's notice in front of port forum provided plenty of time mm -hmm. for taxpayers to either pay taxes in person or mail them well before the rates ends, which we also said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And uh, again, I feel like yeah. however we end up handling it, it's important to have Sandra's back because right she she was that was not a crazy interpretation. No, and the fact that it didn't say it. Is my interpretation. We didn't. We weren't clear in saying anything about the postmark. Right. Right. So <clears throat> does that make sense to me? Yeah. I mean, I understand from a you know from, from a, a layman's a perspective. From a resident's point of view. For, yeah. Well, right. you put it here, so you must have forgotten it there. When in fact, the law would go the opposite. You put right. it here, and you didn't put it here, means you didn't intend to. Right. It has, if it's not said, it's not said. Inclusio, inclusio, or inclusio, exclusio, something. There's a lot of phrase. Oh, well, it whatever. If it's not there, the it's time. not there. It's not there. Yeah. So those, that's, so those are the changes I made yeah. to the minutes um, later in the day. Yeah, and I didn't see that, but I did see the other ones. So. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I agree with those. Well, I Anybody saw else? the other ones, and he's fine with that, and I'm fine with this too, actually. Applaud it. Rose? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for making it clear. Mm -hmm. Oh, you no, you well, that was that was really important. It yeah. is important, very important. Rose, um, under Tom Blatchley about the friends of, in the paragraph about town hall uses, he is from friends of the Plainfield Opera. Plainfield Town Opera House. Mm -hmm. Gummy bears. You were my daughter. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Town Hall. Yeah, okay, let's fix it. I don't it. usually eat candy. Thank you, Jerome. Town Hall. Like, like Opera House. Good to have a member of the public. I knew it had, I knew <laughs> it had <laughs> the word Opera <laughs> in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank my you. My throat is so dry. And that helps? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I knew it had the word opera in it. Um, anything else, Rose? I don't think so. Okay. But thank you for asking. Would somebody like to make a motion to approve the minutes of November 26 with the changes as noted? So I'll move. Make, I'll second it. Aye. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, and now I would entertain a motion to go into executive session to discuss personnel matters. At 8.50. Look at that, we're running ahead of schedule. We're doing really well. I wonder why that is. Hmm? hmm? I wonder why we're running. Well, because we have no company tonight. Right. Mm. Uh, yeah. Nice. Uh, so move. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 